All right, folks, welcome back to segment number three. And Terry, start us off here. This is one of my fun games. So it's a, yeah, it's an in-state rivalry here. we got the Cleveland Brownies going to the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, you had to go with that, huh? Three, six and one on the Browns, five and five for the Bengals. Bengals are a three-and-a-half-point favorite at home. You know, the Browns, they much improved over last year. Of course, they lost all 16 games last year. Now they're three, <laughs> six, and one. Um, yeah, a lot of people are calling on them to win six games. If they're going to get to that six-game winning season, they have to win this one. Ain't okay. happening. Okay, so okay. you're definitely on the Bengals. I'm taking the Bengals in spite of the fact that we're stupid enough to hire Hugh Jackson now on the coaching staff because he's a blittering idiot. But I'm taking the Bengals. Davey took the Brownies. The Browns, yeah. Well, three, six, and one. You know, the, the three and a half. Man, I this is a coin toss here. I wouldn't be touching this one on my my wager for the weekend. No, I'll take the Bengals in the contest and hope that the home team covers for change. We had a lot of upsets last. Did week. you guys hear that, folks? Terry actually said the Bengals. He didn't call us the Bungles well, I, then. Only only once in a while. The <laughs> <slide out. laughs> <laughs> All right, what next we got next? Game, so, uh, again, a game that uh, not much consequence. Cardinals, 2-8 and eight on the season. They're going to the Chargers. Chargers are an 11.5 point favorite at home. That's a lot of numbers, or not a, a lot of points. Chargers just didn't look like themselves last week against the Broncos. They won six in a row going into that uh, last week, and then they... Well, they, they had the lead, and the, and the Broncos came back. I think the Chargers are going to be irritated, and um, I think they blow out the Cardinals, who I just think are just... Well, Josh Rosen is terrible. So, for that reason, I'm taking the Chargers. Eleven and a half is a big number, but I gotta. I'm gonna take the Chargers as well. Well, Davey took the Cardinals. He's taking them because of the points. You know, the eleven yeah. and a half is a big number. Dave, it's, bad move. Historically, <laughs> in the NFL, when a team is getting more than ten points, the underdog covers more often than not. But right. That, that hasn't been the case this year. In fact, we had a couple of big favorites uh, win even bigger. Here, not last week, but two weeks ago. Um, anyways, last game is the Patriots going to the Jets. It's a division rivalry. The Jets have upset them in the past. Dave is already out and taken the Jets. Uh, Patriots are nine and a half point favorite on the road. That number's a little high for me, but I got to stick with the Patriots in this game. They've had a, they just came off their bye, so they've had, a, they've had a week to rest and prepare for this game. I think they should win and win convincingly. This is so easy, folks. You take the best quarterback, a Hall of Famer versus a rookie who is having a tough time finding his way. Easy peasy. This is a winner, just kind of winner, winner, chicken dinner. Or maybe we should say winner, winner, turkey dinner that's coming up. Turkey dinner, yes. So that's going to end uh, those three games. And our best bets of the day, Dave. So, Dave, we started with his best bet being Michigan, and I like that bet too, although the history of that game – it you know, makes me a little suspect. So you're going to take no, Michigan? No. I'm not, I, I took them in the contest, but I'm not taking them as I'm not going to take the same best bet. Although it's hard to really come up with a true best bet here. I'm tempted to just take my Seahawks just because that's, I think, with the three and a half, they have to well, win this game. So I'm going to take the Seahawks okay. to, you know, not only, Jerry's not only cover this spread, they're going to win. That's a money line play. Okay. Well, actually, folks, my best bet would have been Terry's. Washington State Cougars, but since they're not on the contest because they play on Friday, um, I have to pass on that. But if I have a little scratch, I'll put it on that game. But my best bet, well, Terry already knows, it's going to be Ohio State, and Gary's best bet is going to be the Buckeyes, of course. Now, folks, I want to remind everybody, Thanksgiving dinner, we have ham, turkey, a combo, all the fixing, eighteen ninety five, no reservation. So come on down, okay, and enjoy it. From 11 o'clock on. From 11 o'clock on. Uh, let me tell you, we had a fantastic crowd on Monday night. Thanks, to everybody, for coming out. Um, next week's game should be just as much fun. And Thanksgiving, we have three games all day long. So the Bears start at 9.35 against the Lions, traditional turkey day game. Uh, Redskins play the Cowboys after that, and the Falcons play the Saints to round it off. So football all day long. Who is the Monday night game? Monday night this, this week is uh, Texas, uh, the Tennessee Titans versus the Texas Texans. Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. So this should, it should be a good game. So uh, thanks for coming out and, uh, and spending uh, your Monday night uh, here at uh, Winnemucca Inn with me. I appreciate that. For uh, my buddy Dave, who's absent, my pal Terry Boyle, I'm Gary Horky. That's going to do it for this week's show. Goodbye, everybody.